Hello, hello. Robert Beltran, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Oh. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? I'm fine. Both working in the house. I was talking with my mom about my next exam. It's going to be on September. Oh, really? Hey, I wonder if the test, uh, the English test is easy or is hard for you? What do you think? Which exam are you taking? Which exam are you uh, talking the about? For, for the phase 1B, 2B, 3 and 4. Well, um, I mean, it's easy. It's easy. I mean, it's just that you need to practice and reading is very important. Yeah, reading, but the speaking is, I think, is more important for me because I have the information in my brain, but if I'm not used to it to speaking that's the problem yeah but i mean the exam that you're going to take is going to evaluate everything yeah reading speaking writing listening yeah that's right um honestly i don't i, I don't worry about but i feel a little bit uh, confused how many time is going to to how many time is during the oral test. Well, uh, how much time? How much time? How much time? Okay, well, I it, it depends on the test you are taking, as I told you. I mean, it could be five minutes, 10 minutes. Okay. It, it just depends on all on that. And, and I mean, as I told you, the listening is very important because if you the listening and the reading are pretty important because if your listening and comprehension is fast and your reading is fast, you're going to have, the time is going to be enough. Otherwise, you're going to have the problem that the time is not going to be enough. Uh, okay. I I have no problem reading and, this, and with my listening in these phases. I got super easily the, the tensor. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean uh, oh, oh, there are yeah. many exercises why don't you stay at the end of the class and we'll we'll get you some exercises that you can practice i like to i would like to i stay, would like that stay at the end of the class and we're gonna look for something that can help you more okay <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no, thanks to you for the for the trust. And don't worry, yeah. we're gonna yeah. find a way out. Okay, well okay. welcome. Welcome, Robert. It was a nice pleasure to you. Always mine. Okay, let's see. Fatima, Laura, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? <clears throat> I'm so so. So so, why so so? Uh, I flu? I flu? I have flu? Oh, I got the flu. I got the flu. I got the flu. Okay, okay. And how was the day? I mean, what time did you finish working? Um, good day. I finished working at 4.30. At 4.30? 4.30. Okay, that's nice. You finished working at 8 30, at 4 30. What time did you get home? I got home at 5 15. At 5 15. 15. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Well, that's fine. Did you have dinner already? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay, what did you have for dinner? Ah, uh, no sé cómo se dice alita de pollo. Oh, chicken wings. Chicken with? wings. Wings, wings, like this. Wings. Let me see. Let me text for you. Okay. Wings. Yep, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Oh, really? Okay, yes. what else? What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Um, rice, cheese, tortilla, and coffee. Okay, nice. How do you like your coffee? One cup. How do you like it? Ah. Um, me gusta con azúcar. Un poco espeso y con azúcar. Oh, really? Yes. Nah, I like it black, no sugar. No, nah, a mí no me gusta amargo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. it's delicious. <laughs> no me gusta. Okay, well, anyway, I mean... What about what other soft drinks do you like? Que si cuántas tazas? No, what other soft drinks? ¿Qué otras bebidas le gustan? Soft drinks eh, son bebidas no alcohólicas. Uh, what other uh, soft drinks do you like? Los frescos naturales nada más. Okay, refreshments. Ajá, no no me gustan mucho las las gaseosas y las cosas así energizantes y cosas así no me gustan mucho. Okay, I understand you. I understand you. Sí. Okay, well, yeah, you gotta take care of yourself. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well. Nice to have you here, Fatima, and welcome. Thank you, Tisha. Let's see who else is here. Wow, I got a bunch of people here, but not all of you. Let's see. Walter Reyes, hello, good evening. Hello, Tisha, good evening. Good evening, how are you, mister? I am fine, teacher. I hope are you too. Ah, uh, you know, here, here, same old story as usual. Working and working. Okay. How was your day? Very good, teacher. A good day? Yeah. I worked hard today, teacher. Uh, but, uh, uh, Mana had to come up with everything. Gregory from the church of God. Uh, always uh, giving my best. That's good. That's good. And that's what we have to do. All the time we have to do our best. All the time we have to do our best. Ah. All the time for the time, no? Yes. All the times, all the time, todo el tiempo, okay. we have to do, tenemos que hacer our best, lo mejor, nuestro mejor intento. Uh, all right. Yes. Always, you guys, uh, do my best. Okay, ya, excellent. Ya llevo, ya llevo más de 20 años trabajando ahí. 
20 years. Wow, that's a long time. Siempre he mantenido como decirle mi ritmo de trabajo y mi calidad. Wow. Porque siempre he sido he estado entre los mejores. That's cool. That's cool. Ahí ahí cada 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 mes sacan al mejor empleado y siempre parecía muy That's excellent, excellent. Okay, okay, well, glad to hear it. Me agrada escucharlo. Welcome to the class, mister. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ana Consuelo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Very well, thank you. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, what time did you finish working? ¿A qué hora terminé mi trabajo? Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, uh, por eh, 33. Por 33. Mm. Yes. Ok, that's, that's normal. And what time did you get home? Did you have problems getting home? No. No problems with uh, traffic? No. Es la carretera litoral. Ok, so open road. An open yes. road, una carretera abierta. Ah, uh, open road. That's cool. Excellent, excellent. So what time did you make it home? What time did you make it home? A qué hora vine a mi casa? Exactly. Uh, five, five twenty. Okay, five twenty. Look at the phrase. It says, "What time did you make it home?" What time did you make it home? It means the same, significa lo mismo, of what time did you get home? What time did you arrive home? What time the three sentences you... mean the same. Las tres significan lo mismo. The difference is that when you say what time did you make it home, la diferencia es que cuando usted dice what time did you make it home, you are being more colloquial, es más coloquial. Ah, okay. It's like more normal, okay? Yes. So, what time did you tell me? Perdón, ¿qué hora me dijo? Ah, uh, 520. 520, okay. Okay, and did you have dinner already? Yes or no? Uh, no. No, after Pero dinner, what time? What time do you go? Do you go to bed? I get up by the camera. Uh, 10 o'clock. So as soon as you finish class, you go to eat. Tan pronto termino la clase a comer. Yes. Hoy logré terminar hacer la cena porque como hay veces que acá en mi propia casa vengo a las um, six o'clock. Paso recogiendo a mi niña primero a las five twenty. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's important. Eso es importante, of course. 
Yes. Okay, okay. Well, thank you. And welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Sandra, hello, Sandra. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. And oh. you? I'm just fine, just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story as usual. So, how was your day? Como estuvo el día? Good. Good. Okay. What time did you get home? Pero llego a casa. Uh, about the six. About six. Okay. Did you have dinner already? Yes. What did Breakfast. you have for dinner? Uh, I do. I didn't go today. Hoy no cocine. Oh, really? <laughs> Until later. Solo compro unos tamalitos. <laughs> oh, so you like tamales? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Well, interesting. What type of tamales? ¿Qué tipo de tamales? Unos tamalitos de pollo. Hoy sí tomé café. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. You are one of mine now. Ya de las mías. Yeah, yeah. Sí. Coffee is mandatory. Solo por hoy. Okay, well, that's nice. So that means that you're relaxed at home, right? Está relajada. Sí. Cool. Excellent, excellent. Well, Miss, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Ah, thanks to you. Good to have you here. Okay, let's see. Hey, Jaime. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Very fine. Okay. Tranquis, tranquis. Cool, cool. Okay, uh -huh. how was traffic today? Terrible again? Uh, no, today uh, was normal. Uh, very fluid, fluido. Oh, really? Yeah. I arrived at home very early. Okay. Around uh, 5 5.33. 5.33? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's cool. So, dinner already? Yeah. Cool. What was there for dinner? Um, beans, liquid, 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 um, cream, uh, 
plátanos, no sé cómo se dice. Plantain. Plantain. Pa plant uh, plantain. Eh, tortilla en coffee. Okay, so it was a typical dinner. Yes. A lo, a lo salvadoreño. Salvadoran style. El Salvadorian style. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Yes. That's so cool. So you had a good dinner. That's excellent. That's excellent. <laughs> Oh, we're in the middle of the week, right? A little bit hard. Yes. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, welcome to the class, mister. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. Hey, guys, let me get the attendance. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Gracias, teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Present. Thank you, Mr. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. En Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. I still got a few minutes. And let's see according to the plan. Yes. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Uh, Catherine, hello, Catherine, how are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? 
How you doing? I remember you were a little bit sick. <coughs> Still a little bit sick. Okay. Se me fue la señal. <laughs> I remember you were sick. How you doing? ¿Cómo sigue? Todavía ahí en... <coughs> Así. <laughs> Okay, well, that's a problem, right? Qué problema, no? Ay, sí. Ya tenía buen rato que no me daba. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, so sorry to hear it. Qué mal. Ni modo. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> it's gonna pass. Va a pasar. Así es. Toca tomar café nada más. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Ahí me también lo prueba, dice. Yes, of course, of course. That's <laughs> mandatory. We Pura got todo. many we got many supporters here. Ahí está con su tacita. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dando carita. Okay, okay. So tell me, what time did you get home? At 5 p.m. At 5 p.m.? Yep. Cool. And did you have dinner already? Yes, you told me, right? Coffee, <laughs> coffee. Okay. And tell me, uh, in your area, having the flu is not a problem? Doesn't affect you more? ¿Cómo? ¿Otra vez? <laughs> in your area where you work, in su area, where uh -huh. you work, does it affect you having the flu? ¿Le afecta lo de la gripe? Bueno, Sí, un poco por lo del tema de la mota. ¿va? Pero ahí me tienen. Ok, well, yeah, I can imagine that it must be a difficult situation. Sí. Mi amiga me dijo, no, no voy a ir a pasar consulta, me dijo, porque no quiero pasar sola comiendo yo. Me... Ok. <laughs> That's Así que no cool. fue. <laughs> Yeah, because if you got the flu and it's strong, they can give you a leave of absence. Well, a leave of illness. A leave. <laughs> Let, let's see. Leave of illness. Es una incapacidad. Oops. Leap off. Leap off. That's an incapacidad. A leap of, uh, of illness. A leap of absence is when you request a permission. Una leap of absence is cuando pide un permiso en general. Okay, so, well, the good thing is that you're here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, Chef. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Roxana, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. At home resting. At home resting. Yeah. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, hey, what about the, the little baby? What happened to the little baby? Your niece. Um, como digo, anda vagando. Oh, really? Me ha abandonado. Oh, where is she around? ¿Dónde anda? Uh, grandfather. Oh, really? With grandfather or grandparents? Grandfather. 
Grandfather means abuelo. Grandparents means abuelos. Both. Ah, uh, grandparents. Okay. Yeah. Grandparents. Okay, that's cool. So it's kicking it around. Anda vagando. That's cool. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. So you're it feels different when you get attached, right? Se siente distinto cuando uno queda attached to little babies. Cuando uno se, se encariña, ¿no? Yes. Okay. My baby. Oh, is your baby now? Oh my gosh. Ay, ah, yeah, yeah. Just give it a couple of years. Dale un par de años. And then we will talk again. Ahí me la voy a robar del todo. No, you're going to be like, oh, this little baby is killing me. Just wait until she starts walking. Espérese que comience a caminar. A caminar. Yeah, that's yeah. another story. You know, little babies mm -hmm. are specialists on, on hitting everything with their head. Son especialistas en pegarle todo con la cabeza. I don't know how do they do, but they make it. Yeah. They bump. They bump. <laughs> Ellos yeah. chocan. O se tropiezan, they bump into everything. Todo. I mean, mm. it looks like if they're measuring, como que van midiendo dónde. And it's hard for your back. Y duele la espalda. <laughs> eh, but, I mean, they're cool. Teacher, fíjese que le gustan las clases. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, of course. She hears my voice. Baby, love se my pone voice. Como a querer hablar. Cuando ve, el, cuando le pongo el teléfono y viendo la clase y ella bien contenta. Oh, yeah, it's because of the lights and the colors that attracts them. Light and mm -hmm. colors attracts them. And it's, uh, they are different sounds. Remember that they are discovering the world. So different sounds are attractive for them. I mm -hmm. mean, if they are exposed, like in this case, to a different language, it helps them to develop both languages. Si se exponen oh. ambos idiomas a esta edad, es, it helps them a lot. Les ayuda. Oh. Me voy a poner más a estudiar. Yeah, sure. And you will learn more. Y usted también va a aprender más. Yeah. Okay, well, Roxana, nice talking to you and welcome. Thanks, teacher. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Give me a second. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Hey, Ruth, how are you? Hi, teacher. How's everything? How are you? Um, very good, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Uh, Okay. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. I, I can. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo hoy? Todo el día después que vine. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, hice muchísimas cosas, Tisha. Okay. Pero I, bueno, no voy a contar de. I'm interested. Ya yeah, me interesó. Tell me. <laughs> yeah, because everybody always tells me, no, the same routine, no, the same activities. Okay, now tell me. Hoy cuénteme. I can early at home. Okay. At early. Five. What's early? Guess early. Y viene temprano, te quiero dejar. Ya cené. Estoy feliz. Ya tomé café. Okay. That's good. Yeah. You are talking about coffee. Now we are fine. Okay, and what about your day at work? ¿Cómo estuvo el día en el trabajo? Mm. 
poco so, so. pesado. Oh, oh, really? A little bit, a little bit heavy. Uh, a mucho problem. A little, a little bit heavy is un poco. But demasiado, that's too much. Uh, too, much. Uh, too much, too much, probably, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, you no, know, no, some days are like that. Yeah, I understand you. I had a lot of things to do and the weather, oh, it's killing me. Yes, peor, desesperado. Yeah. Horrible, right? Ahora le suma, este, zancudos. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, mosquitoes are the are the pets. ¿Cómo es de zancudos, teacher? Mosquitos. Ah, mosquitos. Yo porque mosquitos decía mosquitos. Yeah, but actually zancudos are mosquitos. Ah, uh, oye. Okay. Mosquitos. Demasiado. Desde que ha llovido, horrible. Desesperada. Calor y mosquitos. No, well, what can we do, right? ¿Qué se le va a hacer? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the class, miss. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, 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 well. Let's see. Mm. David, hello, David. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Look, David, I got a question for you. Tell me. How do you spend your time when you are on a holiday and the weather is bad? Yeah, Remember the question from yesterday? Yes. Um, normally in, in home, the wise TV. That's in enough the for you. The, huh? That's enough for you. Eso es suficiente. Yeah, yes. In the... No, not the normal. Okay. And uh, the fun, the, the series, and the gameplay of my son. Yes, the usual. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, thank you very much, David. Now, look, you guys, too. what I'm going to do right here. Presten atención a lo que voy a hacer acá. Okay, let's see. Whoops. David said that he spends his time at home. Now look at this. David told me I oops, sorry. I spend my time at home. Okay, this guys is reported speech. Eso se le llama reported speech. If you notice in the first one, la primera, this part, David said that, David dijo que, he spends his time at home. In the second one, David told me, I spend my time at home. In the second one, I need to give exactly the words he said. Okay? It's separated. It can be between columns. Puede ir hasta entre comillas. But it's after this. Okay? So the difference is this. David said that. David me dijo que. He spends his time at home. Él pasa el tiempo en casa. David told me. David me dijo. Yo paso el tiempo en casa. In the second one, I am, I am reporting everything exactly as it was said. This is called 
reported speech. Okay. So now look at that. Look at it carefully. Veanlo con cuidado. Okay, now, what are we going to do? Notice what I just did. Fíjense lo que dice. I asked David the question, and then I reported to you. Y luego le reporto a ustedes. There are two ways. I just need to use one. Solo uso una. Okay? I could use whichever. Puedo usar cualquiera de ellas. This is a topic that you are going to see in another level. Este es un tema que van a ver en, en, otro, en otro nivel. But it's quite easy. Es así de simple. So, now I'll send you to the groups. I told you yesterday that those questions we are going we were going to use them in a different situation in a different way. Yo les dije que las íbamos a usar de una manera distinta, right? So, what are we going to do? Okay, we are going to get into groups, three members. Vamos a estar en grupos de tres. You are going to give the answers to those questions. Van a dar las respuestas a esas preguntas. Then, when I recall you back, cuando los llame acá, I will pick some of you Voy a escoger algunos de ustedes and I will ask you to report to me about your classmates. Y les voy a pedir que me cuenten de las respuestas de sus compañeros. ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? ¿Preguntas? Ok. I, I have a question. Ok, let's see. One at a time. First, Roberto. Uh, we can... We can... Can we talk about random topic and... No, 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 no. The questions, the questions I gave you yesterday, las preguntas que les di ayer al final de la clase. How do you spend your time when you are on holiday and the weather is bad? What countries would you like to visit? Why? Okay. Those are the questions okay. that I gave you last night and I told you. We were going to use them today. Okay. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Yes, Walter. Oh, who was? ¿Quién más me preguntaba? Yo. Yes, tell me, Roberto. Según lo que le entendí, en el primer ejemplo, eh, usted hace alusión a lo que él le dijo. Yes. Y en la segunda, eh, lo que, en el ejemplo, usted dice lo mismo que él le dijo, pero como que él se lo dice yo. Word by word, palabra por palabra, no le cambio nada. You can use just one. Usted no necesariamente va a escribir los dos. Just one, mm -hmm. solo uno, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. So I guess we are clear. Creo que estamos bien ahí. Okay, guys, you're going to have five minutes. So we are going to do a different, I mean, we are jumping a different level. Vamos a dar un salto de nivel, okay? So I need you focus. If you have any doubt, call me. I will go to your room. Si tienen alguna duda, me llaman y yo llego al grupo, okay? I mean, I don't know, I'm sorry, but I get excited with this type of activities because it's something new and I know that, I know it's going to be good for you. Okay, so groups are open.
eh, compartimos la respuesta o la, o la ponemos ahí la, en el chat. ¿Qué Yo dicen? digo que hay que dialogar primero. Ajá. O sea, este, cada uno piensa en, en la primera y luego la compartimos. Yo digo que cada quien diga lo que hace y uno va a hacer el reporte, uno. Ah, Usted qué sí, hace sí. y Ana Consuelo qué hace y así. Ok. Ok, eh, Fátima. Fátima Slim. Sería Slips. así como Fátima, Say, Say Tat, She. Utilizando, utilizando lo que él mencionó, entonces si me dices que te gustaría viajar a conocer Estados Unidos, le pondría Walter, told me I speak my, my business and country USA. Así lo vamos a ir formulando. Y sería, digamos, en las tres. No sé si querés la, la redactamos de forma individual en el chat y ahí las compartimos. Ah, pero, también vos, mejor. pero también vos tenés que dar tu, tu respuesta a la tía. Ajá, serían tres, digamos, porque la primera es el, el de... La primera es, how do you spend your time when you are in holiday and the weather is bad? Y la the second, en what the country world to July BC y the three, why? Porque son tres, va, teacher. Yes, three. Ajá, tres, ¿no? Pero tú también tienes que compartir lo que... Lo que Solo compartamos las respuestas de cada uno, pero nosotros las vamos a redactar ya utilizando el Tommy y el SAT. Yo dije me abandonó. No, es que cada cuando le iba a contestar, le estaba contestando pues, al día.
Aquí le estoy ya escribiéndolo. Parece que esa pregunta ya la ha hecho anteriormente el teacher, ¿verdad? Yes, the country that you would like to visit. Yes. No cambio yo mi destino para visitar. No comments. No comments. Déjenme soñar. Yo quisiera no ir a Corea. No comments. Ay, qué calor. That's why Carla wants to go to Canada, so there's no problem of heat. Canada. Esta niña con lo que sale. Está mal, teacher. No, it's okay. Me manda el suyo, Lili. Agüita. Por Dios, Santo. Lita de mover el pie, por favor. Es, esa agüita que haces me, 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 me. Me está estresando. ¿Cuál bulla? No, no, aquí es mi hermana. Sí. Ay, que me duele el cuello. La siguiente. Uh -huh. La siguiente sería. Eh, she told me. Ahí está. Xiomara, you're having problems with the connection? Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, so sorry, sorry. I am problem. Sí, me saca, me deja entrar, salgo, entro otra vez. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Sí. Hello. Hello, guys, you finished? Um, almost. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, because we just got one minute and a half. Okay. Okay, good. So, Xiomara, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tell me, which country would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? Um, permítame, que no creo. Ah, esa es la primera pregunta, ¿verdad? Parece que me dice, ¿a dónde me gustaría viajar? Yes. Así no lo entiendo. Yes, exactly. Ah, oh, ok. Uh, Hello.
let's see, let's see. Well, 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 well. Sixty seconds, guys, sixty seconds. Okay, let's bring everybody back. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Eh, Gabriela, Gabriela Vasquez. Tell me about David or Walter, whichever. Hello, Gabriela. Well, perhaps she's having problem with the microphone. Ahorita. Oh, okay, okay. There's Gabriela. Estoy terminando de escribir. Just one sentence. De, Just one. Just de, one. De los dos o, o solo de uno. Just one sentence. Solo una una oración. Whichever, cualquiera. Ah, uh, okay. Walter told me he is paying either working at home. Okay. Walter told me I spend time working at home. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, 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 um, uh, Walter, tell me about David. David told me he can see your sister. His sister. His sister. Yeah, because not my sister. Well, I ah, have not. Pero, no, your sister. His sister. La de ah, él, pero, pero que es la mía, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, but I, I hope not. <laughs> Thank you, mister. Okay, okay. David, tell me about one of your classmates. Hello, teacher. Hello. Tell and me the, one sentence. And then the three questions. Just one, just one. Solo una. Uh, okay. Um, and Gabriela told me um, this is Suecia. Oh, 
she would love to visit uh, Sweden. 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 Huh? Sorry. Perfect. No, thank you. That's cool. Catherine, tell me about Jose Edwin. Just one. Okay. Franco said that the, he enjoys with your family, watch TV, and plays board games. With his family, no, with mine. <laughs> with his family. Come on, guys. <laughs> with his. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Edwin, tell me about Brenda. Oh, no. Brenda was not able. She's uh, she's got problem with her throat. Edwin, tell me about uh, Catherine, Mr. Franco. Okay, uh, Catherine says that she doesn't have bad time. She enjoys every moment. She oh. told me, "I don't have bad time. I enjoy every moment." Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Jaime, tell me about Fatima Laura. Okay. Um, Fatima Laura, what country would you like to visit? Fatima Laura told me I like to visit Mexico for its gastronomy. Okay, yeah, full. That's the main part. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ana Maria, tell me about Roxana or Ruth, one of them. Yes, Roxana, tell me resting, washing, and series or playing lottery. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Karen Castillo. Ahorita. Um, Roberto told me that he liked to watch series and sleep. Okay, she watch, she likes to watch series and sleep. Excellent, yes. thank you. Now, 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 now. <clears throat> Carla Beatriz, tell me about Monica. I want to hear about Monica. Hello, teacher. Um, okay. Monica told me that she likes to spend time uh, at home watching movies when the weather is bad. And then the and then he told me that he would she, like to she. visit. She uh, would like to visit France. Oh, France. Cool. For Thank his you. iconic and famous tower and culture. Iconic and famous. Iconic. Iconic, iconic and famous. Iconic Perfect. and famous. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Robert Beltran, tell me about Sonia. I want to hear about Sonia. I think she, she didn't give me the answer about the first question, so she only gave me the answer about the second one. Okay, tell me. Uh, yeah, she she told me I was I would like to visit Honduras because I have seen a lot of beautiful places there, and I I like just like that. Okay, well, that's a good reason. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well done. Okay, guys. Wow, time's running. I'm sorry that I cannot ask all of you, but time's flying. Now, let's see. Let me get the attendance. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present, teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. 
Presente. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Present. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Ayala. Benítez Díaz. Well. Mm. Present teacher. Me cambié el apellido. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Omar Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Ya reseñan. Ok, cool. That's nice, that's nice. Ok, guys, next activity. We are going to work in the manual because we got us a conversation there that we need to practice. And then, oh, we have many different activities today. Okay, let me get it set up so we can go straight to the conversation. Okay, let me share with you guys. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Well, the situation, it's a phone call to a hotel, a phone call to a hotel. Okay, and the conversation goes like this. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. I repeat, guys. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single room or a double room? A single room, please. I repeat one last time. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Questions about the vocabulary, guys?
No? Okay. We go back to the groups. Practice. Okay. si quieren ok después quién sigue me Ajá, impatient ¿Qué? guys <laughs> hello <laughs> thank you for calling the golden A star hotel this is Jen hope can I help you hello uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Tuesday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay, hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jim. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This, this is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, I need I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? 
I'm going to arrive on Friday, 14. How how long are you going to stay with you, Smil Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make to re the reservation for a single or double room? Uh, no, single room, please. Ahora, ¿cómo le hacemos? De, de que sí, Siento le, que así le... es bien complicado. Lo hacemos una vez cada Usted había leído la primera, va. Ajá. Pues vuelvo a leer yo. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. He is in. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I help you, man, please? Oh. Call Angel the woman. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long Me escucha. Ahorita sí. Okay, me voy yo es que se está cortando. Sí. How long you going to stay with our Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star. Open. This is Jean. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Who may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with or Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Until. Are you going to make the Okay, let's see, let's call everybody. 60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds.
Okay, we are just waiting for everybody to be back. And here they come. Well, 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 let's see who's gonna start. Okay, Sonia and Xiomara. You gonna start, Sonia and Xiomara. Okay, teacher. Hold on a second, I'm gonna share the screen. And this goes here, give me just one second, and this one goes here. Perfect, Sonia and Xiomara. Let's see, Sonia, you start. Okay, teacher. Hello, thank you. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jem. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive right of Friday and <laughs> se me olvidó 14 14 no 14, 14. <laughs> se me fue lo siento sorry how long are you going to stay with us Mr. Gomez with us with us I am going to stay until Monday are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Perfect. Thank you very much. David Armando and Gabriela Vasquez. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Uh, Gabriela, you start. Hello. Thank you, George, for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is James. How, how can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. Hello. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay on duty Monday. Are you are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, perfect. Arrive. 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 Thank you, guys. Okay, now let's see. Walter Reyes and Walter Reyes and Robert Beltran. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I help you name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, everything is perfect. Just one little detail in the pronunciation, Robert. Single, single. 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 Okay. Perfect. Single. Like that. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. Jose Edwin and Catherine. Okay. Uh, Catherine, you start. 
Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Chen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay um, with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Perfect. Finish. Just remember, single, single. Okay. Single. Ana Consuelo en Fátima. ¿Quién empieza? Ana Consuelo, you start. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gómez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with, with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single uh, or a W room? A single room, please. Perfect. Thank you very much. Just remember, double, double. Okay, now, Jaime Enrique and Ana Maria. Ana Maria, yes, you okay. start. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jean. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Very well done. Roxana Ramirez and Ruth Margot, please. Roxana, you start. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden State Hotel. This is Jane. You can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thanks you, Mr. Gomez. Where are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double Room? A single room, please. Perfect. Thank you very much, ladies. Ruth and... Let's see. Hmm. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Karen Castillo and Roberto Guzmán. Okay. 
Karen, start. ¿Quién? Karen. Ok. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This Jane. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Where are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay? You was Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Perfect, thank you. Sandra Alvarado and Monica Liliana. Sandra, you will start. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Yuan. How can I help you? Are you Belda? Yep. Hello. I need to make your reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Permit the teacher. Of course. Sure, may I have? Of course. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on free time. 14. How long are you going to stay with all Mr. Gomez? I'm going, I'm going to assign until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a two? Double? Mm -hmm. Double room. A single room, please. Very well done. Thank you. Carla Beatriz. Thank you. Hello. You start. Hello. Thank you for you. Perdón, perdón. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for single or double room? A single room, please. Thank you. Very well done. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, guys. This, it's very simple. Agent, here we write the name of the agent. The agent is Jen. The guest is Gerardo. Check-in is the moment when you arrive. And check-out is the moment when you leave. Okay? So this is a reservation form. And then you check single room or double room. Now, if you remember, we already explained this. We use would like for a very polite request. Need and want are also possible, but less polite. So I would like to make a reservation. That's very polite. Ese es amable. I need to make a reservation. It's okay. It's acceptable. It's just 
a little bit less polite. Es también, solo que es un poquito menos amable. I want to make a reservation. This is more direct. Este es más directo. It's not offensive. It's not rude. But I would like is very polite. That's the difference. No es que estos sean ofensivos o, o rudos. Simplemente que would like is more polite. Es más amable. Now, something else that I want to explain is this. Going to. Okay. In a formal conversation, in a formal conversation, we say, uh, I am going to call you tomorrow, Jaime. That's formal. Okay. Now, in an informal conversation, we got, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Going to is pronounced gonna. Okay. But that's informal, like, hey, Jaime, gonna call you tomorrow. Okay, that's informal. But it's a pronunciation, it's the pronunciation of going to, and it's very accepted, it's correct. If you hear people saying, I'm gonna, it's okay, you're gonna, that's correct, okay? You can pronounce going to as gonna, and it's okay, it's correct. It's not a mistake. It's just that it's not as formal as saying the full form, the complete form. I'm going to call you. I'm emphasizing. Okay? Now, and that's part of the topic we are going to cover today. Let me explain to you. We're going to talk a little bit about a different type of future. Okay? So, let me share with you so I can explain. Okay, now, how to use be going to? Look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. Okay, we have affirmative sentences. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to stay until Monday. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Okay, now, before we get the negative, yes, no, look at this. When do we use this? Ah, we use it to describe schedule activities and activities that will definitely happen in the future. For negative sentences, insert not before going to. Okay? Now, something that we must understand is this. It's used to describe schedule activities. Okay. Se utiliza para describir actividades que ya están programadas. But something that you must understand is that uh, it's something that you have planned. Es algo que usted tiene planado, planeado. Es schedule. But eh, it's a personal plan. ¿Ok? Es un plan personal. It's different like uh, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a class later. Okay? I am going to have a class later. Guys, we are having class tomorrow. In this case I'm expressing it's different. Si yo les digo we are having, estoy usando el presente continuo. We are having class tomorrow. I am expressing a schedule plan. Estoy hablando sobre un plan ya programado, but it's a group more than one person, más de una persona, okay? We are having class tomorrow. Hey, we are having our last class on Monday. It's planned, and I imply that it's more than me. It's not just me, okay? Take that into consideration. Tomen eso en cuenta. Look again at the examples. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. One person. I'm going to stay until Monday. Miss Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Okay? Uh, the negative. The negative is very simple. We just are not. Okay? Miss Puentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday 13th. 
Just no question. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Do you remember from yesterday? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Information question. How long are you going to stay? When are you going to arrive? The difference between yes, no question and information questions, you know, right? In here, the answer is yes or no. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. In information questions, you need to explain, okay? And remember, information questions, they come right at the beginning of the sentence. But, uh, well, I always like to explain the structure in the, in the, in the board. Perdón, siempre prefiero explicarles la estructura en la pizarra. So let me explain to you like this. Okay. And here we go. Okay, we are talking about future with be going Okay, now, something that we must remember is this, guys. When we are talking about be, we are talking about, when it's conjugated, cuando se conjuga, we are talking about am, is, are. What does it mean? When we say be going to, when we say be going to, we are saying, ah, oh, I am going to, you are going to, he is going to, okay? So the structure goes like this. Look. I am going to, I'm going to work tomorrow. Okay, that's definitely happening. Eso definitivamente va a pasar. Okay. Now look at the next one. She is going to uh, dance at the party. She's a good dancer. She always dances at the party. She has already set up with whom? Oops, I'm sorry. There was a mistake here. She is. Now, something that I need you to remember is this. When we are talking about the be going to, this is working as an auxiliary. Eso está funcionando como un auxiliar, okay? The main verb is this one. El verbo principal es este, okay? The main verb is right here. Este es el verbo principal, okay? So, we got this, I am going to, is going to, or, They're going to arrive on time. In this case, they are going to is the auxiliary. Okay. So that's the auxiliary. Now remember, it's a planned future, schedule. Es un, algo planeado, ya organizado, or Something that is definitely happening. O algo que definitivamente va a pasar. Now, here's a little difference. Aquí hay un pequeño detalle. If you remember, I was telling you. ¿Se recuerdan que les decía? Oh, it's a future plan, but it implies one person. Cuando es sobre un plan, hablamos sobre una persona. But, when it's something that is definitely happen, it can be plural. Cuando es algo que definitivamente está pasando, va a pasar. Es plural, o sea, un futuro muy, muy seguro. Puede ser plural o singular, no problem. Ok. So, when I say they are going to arrive on time, es porque, uff, ya lo vi, ya vienen, ya me avisaron. Y en cinco minutos comienza la actividad, en cuatro minutos van a estar acá. So, they are going to arrive just in time. Ok. That's definitely happening. Definitivamente va a pasar. Now, for negative sentences. Well, up to here, questions. ¿Está acá alguna pregunta? Ok. Uh, 
Okay. When we have a negative question, very simple. We just, I'll not. Oops. I am not going to work tomorrow. Okay, if you notice for the negative sentence, what do we do? ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? We just add not. So, remember, all this is the auxiliary. Todo esto no funciona como que fuera un auxiliar. But, remember, this esto es lo que le estamos agregando in order to make it negative it comes between am and going to between the verb be and the going to ok that's it that's negative now when it is a question cuando es una pregunta ok when it is a question it's different what do we do simple we place the auxiliary be at the beginning. Look at the question now. Is she going to dance at the party? Is she going to dance at the party? What did we do? Oh, okay, now look. We have is and then we have going to. Okay? It's always there. Siempre está ahí. The only difference is that we are using it. Lo estamos usando. In a different order. The verb be at the beginning for questions. Okay? Is she going to dance at the party? Now, remember, we are talking about a, acuérdense que hablamos, yes, no question, okay? Okay, so now, how do I answer that question? ¿Cómo contesto esa pregunta? Simple, remember. Yes, she is, because we are talking about her, right? Or, no. She isn't. Okay? As simple as that. Now, oops, I'm sorry. We also have questions, uh, Using WH, ok. Tenemos preguntas en las cuales usamos la WH, ok. Why are they going to arrive on time? Now, notice something very important. Fijémonos en algo. Oops, I'm sorry. Notice something very important. If you start right here, si ustedes comienzan, right here, if you notice the structure is the same as here, la estructura es la misma, the verb be, the subject, going to, then the main verb and complement question mark. What are we doing? Oh, very simple. We are just placing the WH question at the beginning. Simplemente ponemos la WH al inicio. Okay? That's the only difference in the structure. En estructura es la única diferencia. Okay, guys. Questions? Preguntas? No? Okay. Let me just share with you this image.
give me just a, a, a couple of seconds so I need to set it up okay guys here you go very simple right the structure is quite simple now we have a couple of exercises these exercises due to the time factor the fact of time we are not going to finish them today but i need you to bring them solved for tomorrow what are we going to do order the words to create sentences and questions about schedule activities okay some of them are simple sentences some of them are questions okay So let's see. The first one, when are you going to arrive to Dallas? Ah, we got here the word, the keyword. Ahí tenemos la clave, okay? So what you are going to do is place the words in a way that they make a sentence or a question, okay? So that's a homework for tomorrow. I'm also going to share it the screen so you you don't forget it. También se la voy a compartir. Remember, it's just ordering and that's all we need. Tomorrow, as soon as we start, we are going to solve the exercise. Okay, after the greeting, mañana después de saludarnos, we're going to solve the exercise. So it will help me a lot if you bring it ready. Nos ayudaría mucho si ya lo traemos listo, right? Now, this exercise is important because that's the way the exercises appear in the platform. Now, that's simple, right? That's just uh, putting in order. That's like five minutes exercise for you. Okay. Yes, Jose Edwin. No sé si nos podría explicar un poco, teacher, sobre la tarea número 17. Creo que es la de esta clase, ¿no? O no sé si mañana este, veríamos los verbos breaks. The verbs? Breaks. Hold on. We are missing uh, imperatives. Los verbos eh, breaks. Es que el ejercicio número 17, la verdad que estoy confundido, no entiendo. Porque la información dice que hay que usar lo que acabamos de ver. Give me one second. Dice, dice instruction complete the sentence using the four of B plus going to, plus the verb in brackets. Okay, yes, the verb in brackets es el verbo entre paréntesis. ¿Cómo? El verbo que le aparece ¿Perdón? entre paréntesis. Ah. O sea, eh, que, por ejemplo, sí. en la número uno le aparece el verbo to phone. Entonces, to usted phone. lo que va a escribir eh, is, what you're going to do is this. You're going to, uh, well, it is asking you just to write what is missing. Me pide que, use, que escriba lo que falta. So, mm -hmm. in, that case, in that case, hold on. Los verbos in brackets es los verbos que están entre paréntesis. Okay? So, what you are going to do is this. What you are going to write is as simple as this. Is going to phone. That is what is missing. So, he is going to phone his, his friend. You are just going friend. to write, is going to phone. That's all. Eso es todo lo que va a escribir. Is going to phone. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Hola. No, no, de no. Ese no. Mismo, de ese mismo ejercicio, a mí sobre la número cuatro, ya la hice de varias formas y de verdad que no... 
ya no la pude hacer, ahí la dejé, me, dejé por, me di por vencido. Oh, because number four got a mistake. La número cuatro tiene un pequeñito error. Sí, en la hice. Number four, in number four, the well, only thing is missing is that you need to add you. Tiene que ponerle el you. Ok. Tiene que poner que. Igual a mí no me Look deja de... la unión de la parte. Look at the Zoom chat. Vea el chat de Zoom. Ahí se le puse. That's all you want. The rest of them and the rest of No problem. It's just the be going to. Plus the verb. Just in number four, you need to add you. Número cuatro tiene que ponerle you al inicio. Alexa. Solo eso no me queda, no, no me da, no me sale bien esa. Ok. Yeah. Copy, paste it, you'll see, it's no problem. Gracias, Pecho. No problem, okay. no problem. Okay. okay, guys, no, it's good, it's good. Whenever you ask questions like this, it's good because everybody benefits. Ya le voy a ir a dar a tu hermano. A mí ninguna me parece. Me da error siempre, Tisha. La 1 y la 4 y la copió y la pegó tal y cual se le ha puesto acá. He is going to phone his friend. I'm sorry, you cannot uh, 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 share this. Oh. Probé de esa forma, teacher, también, así como me dijo y tampoco me da. No, porque no le puso el yo al inicio. Voy a probar. Sí. Siempre. Capital con inicial mayúscula. Ah, oh, ok. Uh, I'm telling you because uh, 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 I'm ju I just did it. Lo acabo de hacer. And it's correct like that. Sí, eso era. Ok. Gracias. In the case of Jose Edwin, no capitals. En el caso de Jose Edwin, just in this one. Solo en esta lleva mayúscula. The rest, no. Yes, yes, teacher. I understand. Uh, I am a mistake. I am, okay. I am wrong. No problem, no problem. Yes. I mean, but, but that's the idea. Es la idea. So you ask so we can fix it up. Ustedes preguntan para que lo arreglemos, ok? Okay, thank you, teacher. No, no, my pleasure, my pleasure. It's good. Any other question, guys? If not, I'll go get the attendance right now and you can go to sleep. I know it's been a little bit heavy. Okay. Oopsie. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present, teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemo. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. José Edwin. Present, Calle present Franco. teacher. Thank you, Mr. Appreciate it. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. José Roberto, oh, I'm sorry, José Edwin Valle Franco, José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán, Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez, Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. 
Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present teacher. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night to everyone. Good night, teacher. Bye, Catherine. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, Walter. Pleasure. Good night, teacher. Bye, Ana Consuelo. Have a good one. Good night, teacher. Bye, Karen. Good to have you. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, yeah, sure, mister. A ver cómo estoy con la asistencia, porque estoy tratando de ver si voy a trabajar mañana de noche. Ok, let's see. David, David Armando, Romero Hernández. Muy good. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Bye, Shumara. Whoopsie. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay, let's see, Robert. Let's see, teacher. The question was, okay, how can here, I do? Here, you are going, Ximena. I'll give you a couple of addresses. Ximena. Okay. And the first one is for you to practice listening and reading. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I need the practice and improve my listening. Yes, in that one, you are going to practice listening. Okay. Now, in the second one, you are going to practice grammar and writing. Let me... On screen. Mm. Let's do something. Let's do something. Uh, uh, uh. Text me directly in the in the WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. So I can send them I to agree. you right there. It's easy. I will for do it. So you can have them, but do it now so I can send it to you right now.
See, let's see, because I don't remember which one is yours. I got so many. Tengo tantos. Let's see. This you? <laughs> Okay, let's I, see. I got the links saved. It. You got them saved? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, 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 look. I will explain you how to work with them. But here's the trick. I'm going to mm -hmm. explain you how to use them tomorrow. I'll okay. tell you why. No, but hold on. I'll tell you why. Because I want you to check them out. The first one mostly. El primero más que todo. I want okay. you to check it out. Tomorrow you are okay. going to explain to me how to use it. That way I'm going to evaluate if how's your comprehension, okay, of the reading. Okay. When you explain okay, no to problem. me how to use the 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 site. I, I okay. don't know if you got me. No sé si me comprende. Yeah, I got you. Google. I got you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So tomorrow, okay, check it out. Check it out. Revisa. Yeah, I'm gonna study. If you do exercises, just one. Oh, but don't do the first one. No haga el primero. That's hard. Okay. Go to the second one. Okay. Es el segundo. Okay. Thank you, Tisho Aro. Tomorrow. No, my pleasure. My pleasure. It's a pleasure. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.